Aerospace Engineers. Well, I wanted to show you today, I have made what I think is my favorite base that I've ever made. And I just, I'm heartbroken because, well, I'll show you here in a minute. Anyway, this is where it comes from. Uh, this is actually the uh, building that existed in England somewhere, I don't remember where. But it was on the Pink Floyd album called Animals. And I was listening to that the other day, and I thought, you know, I'm going to build that and uh, have some fun in Space Engineers. So I think it looks pretty close. I mean, you know, for what you could do with Space Engineers anyway. <laughs> There's only so many things. It looks a little blocky. But I think overall, it came out real good. I'm, uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. Oh, it looks it's like I've got a little bit of extra blocks right there that I didn't trim off. But anyway... Uh, otherwise, it's in, in pretty high detail here. It's one of the more detailed ones that I've ever done. And I wanted to show you um, just what it looks like inside. You know, so I put lights on the outside so when it's at night, it's even lit up more. I put fires up here in the top so it you can, you know, know that there's a reason for the smoke. I thought that was kind of fun. I could have put the fires all the way in the bottom, but... Um, I wanted to use those for something else, and I'm going to show you what that is right now. So let's kind of just take an entry in here. Of course, we'd want to put this on a, a place that we'd have uh, uh, land and something and, you know, something around. But anyway, this is uh, kind of a full base, and I just, I think it's really, really great. I love it. Uh, it's a little bigger than probably you'd want, you'd need. But it just came together so well, and I had to fill up this expansive space. It's like, what are you going to do with all this space? So I've put in here, I've, um, I've put my hydrogen tanks up there so I could hold a lot of hydrogen. I've separated the ice and the storage. You might see that by the color, uh, the different color in the storage is more white, and then the, the hydrogen and those O2 generators are up there. And that is... Um, all blue so that relates to the ice now what comes around over here well I've got a couple of industrial refineries and I use the regular assemblers over here I didn't use the industrial I just couldn't find a way to make them look as nice as I wanted and then it's got a big stack of batteries over there to kind of help run everything and then that ties around over here to the other side which guess what has more refineries more assemblers and then that ties on into this other side of the storage and the the uh, hydrogen up here. Now you'll notice that I've taken out, I, I had them all direct, but I wanted to be able to come in here and do some maintenance or, you know, maybe have a little break room in the back or something. I haven't figured out exactly what I want to do. With all this space, we could put in apartments and you know, I love to do that stuff. That's one of my favorite things to do is put in real, like, living conditions and things like that. But this, this it's just so big. I mean, you we noticed the area that we came in over there. And then back here, I've got a helicopter in here. I've got another ship over there. I've got space for, I was going to use this for, um, like, a maintenance center. And as I started putting in another couple of ships, it said, PCU limit exceeded. I went, come on. Well, if you look at this, let me put this up here and do a copy, and then you'll see 85,000 PCU just for this one building. So, yeah, it's kind of big. Man, I love it. It just, it looks so good, I think. I just think it looks great. I, I, these industrial refineries put in like this really snap, made it snap and put them over here in the, the alcove underneath the fires. I've separated them so I could have, you know, different ways of, uh, in case there was an attack or something, I'd have different stuff. And in each one of them, I made them basically the same. They've got this stack of batteries. They've got the assemblers. They've got the refineries. And then they tie back over here to the storage. And so, I mean, even if you were attacked at this corner, you'd still be tied together because this loops around to the other side. So I thought it was pretty great. I, I don't know. Tell me what you think about it. I really am happy with it. 
Oh, and I've got um, this little seat here is in the <laughs> middle of nowhere. But the view is just tremendous here, I think. It's just really nice. And the plan was to have that, uh, you can see there's a sim uh, uh, projectors. Let me go over here. I've got a large scale projector and a small scale projector up here. So I could put anything I wanted to and build any kind of stuff. But I mean, you see, I've got a helicopter there and there's just so much room. I don't know. Maybe it's just too big, but I just, I like this expansive feel. I've always built small stuff. Uh, you know, half of this size maximum maybe a fourth of it even. And it's just been tight and compact, and I've never had a space that I really liked about working, and I really, really like this. But this is sitting out in the middle of nowhere. It's like half of the the um, the run of this place. And if you come in from that front door, like I said, you don't even see the helicopter over there. It's just so far away. My plan is I'm probably going to open the roof, because anytime I put anything in here, I mean, it's so big that I can put some of my largest uh, things in. And I've got a uh, base on wheels here. Let's, uh, and I can put that in here. It'll go in, into, the, into the place. But I can't drive it out because hangar doors. Anybody else have that problem? Yeah. But this would be a great uh, thing to work on, you know, just in the maintenance shop and then how do you get it out of here well you have to take a couple of helicopters and open the roof and I thought about splitting the roof in here and having it fold up I think that's just the the penultimate kind of answer there I've also got another airplane that I use I call the the uh, bloodhound and it just fits inside of here because its wingspan is like 100, 100 meters or something. It's all solar panels, so the thing will just fly <laughs> forever. Um, so it, it just barely fits in here. But if this opened up, then I could work on it in here and I could fly it out. So I'm thinking that I might do that. Um, again, tell me what you think. I'm going to take one more look since it's daylight out here. I'm going to come up here and let me turn this stuff off. Uh, take a look at it again. I think it looks really good from the outside, uh, all around. It looks really nice. The uh, It's got that one, yeah, well, I had a little accident over here. Um, whoops, come on. Nobody said I was a good flyer. But I think it, it, it works well. I want to put a couple of landing pads because I don't have, you might notice, there's no connectors to fill all this stuff. Uh, so how do we get the ore and things in and out? Oops, I've missed another block there. Oh, well, it's not perfect. It takes a long time to build these buildings if you've ever done one. Uh, tell me your experiences in the comments below, because this is uh, something I truly enjoy doing. But this 100,000 PCU limit, which is a good thing to have, per person, especially on a server, it starts getting crazy if you start building such a big base. But man, I like this base, and um, hope you do too. So let me know in the comments below. Tell me what you think about it, and, and give me your ideas about what maybe I could build next. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.